Hi, this is Frank Neely from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. Today we're going to talk about Laura Ingram's interview with former acting ICE director Tom Homan about the situation in Chicago where the new mayor is putting the concerns of illegal immigrants ahead of her interest in protecting American citizens. Homan correctly calls the Democratic Party a hate group against law enforcement. Listen. Well, that brings me to our next story, uh, one we touched on Friday night. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's dangerous hatred, and I'm going to say it, hatred for ICE. Today, Fox News exclusively obtained an internal Chicago PD memo dated September 27th, same day we were there, and the memo says that effective immediately, all officers must leave the scene of an apprehension if asked by federal agents to assist with arresting or detaining immigrants. <laughs> Joining me is Tom Holman, former acting ICE director. Tom, I, we thought Rahm Emanuel was bad in Chicago, okay? But Mayor Lightfoot is giving him a run for his money as far as standing up for criminal aliens against her own and over her own constituents, I might add. Yeah, look, you know, she didn't do her homework. 90% of everybody ICE arrests in the streets are criminals. They're public safety threats. To, to instruct her law enforcement officers not to assist ICE officers in keeping her community safe, it's just, it's just it's disgusting. And her use of the word racism during that press event, I'm sick and tired of this Democratic leadership, whether it's in Congress, I was called a bigot during my testimony, mayors of cities, using the term racism toward these men and women of, of, of ICE who are simply enforcing a law, arresting people here in violation of federal law that were ordered removed by a federal judge. There's nothing racist about it, but they can't argue the facts, so they throw that term out, and it's disgusting. I'm, I'm sick and tired of listening now, to, to me mean, throw that card out every time. It's, it's, it's just admitting you can't argue the point. You might as exactly. well just say, I give up. I give up. I can't argue the point. You're a racist. This is, uh, people, I think, all across the country are getting really sick of it, tired of it. And because you mentioned Mayor Lightfoot's comments, let's let our viewers listen. We are not going to tolerate letting ICE terrorize our immigrant and refugee communities. We will never, ever succumb to the racist, xenophobic rhetoric of ICE. We will continue to ban ICE from having access to any CPD databases. We will not allow any CPD officer to cooperate with anything related to ICE and its immigration raids. I have a question. Are all those Hispanic ICE officials and African-American ICE officials, are they racist too, Mayor Lightfoot? Wow. Yeah. You know, it, it's ridiculous. You know, when has it been okay for members of Congress and mayors of big city? I thought hate groups were something they wanted to legislate against. But in my last couple of testimonies on the Hill, her comments, they, members of the, of the Democratic Party have, have created their own hate group against law enforcement, specifically Border Patrol and ICE. And Mayor Lightfoot needs to know this. ICE has arrested thousands of public safety threats off her streets that they released from their sanctuary jails that reoffended against U.S. citizens. You're welcome. It'd be nice if you just say, thank you, ICE, for keeping my community safe. But I want to leave this one message. I, I got to make this one message. When this Real happened thanks. in Oakland, I promised the officers of Oakland that ICE would never turn their back on them, even though they were told not to work with us. ICE will never turn their back on the Chicago Police Department. I'm not an ICE director anymore, but I talked to the ICE director today, Matt Elvins, and he, and he agreed with me. We will never turn our back on another law enforcement agency. All right, Mayor Lightfoot, I hope you're watching or one of your pals tells you to tune in. That was a message you must not forget. When we